Next report is uh, going to be a fully filtered report. Uh, I only want to see the information of resources. So because the data set was set, set up in such a way that the resources are always on, on node level 6, it is possible to filter out that node level and, uh, and generate a, a resource-based cost report. I will also apply grouping. And I will group by uh, code. And uh, you can either include the individual instances or exclude them. And that is the, uh, the detail visibility. So this is what that report will look like. Uh, I will create a copy of the previous report. I will reuse the uh, conditional formatting. But I will insert a group header. And on that group header level, I will calculate the averages, average uh, unit cost, and the sum for the quantities and price where possible. Let's go back into Office. And I will right click and say duplicate. And I will rename that to three. And then this is going to be a resources, resources report. I can now right click and edit and open that same report again and start modifying without affecting the other one. As I said, I want to include a group header and that allows me to summarize uh, components that have the same code. So right click in here, insert a band, and this is going to be group header. The group header is empty by default. And what I will do is copy this table, copy and paste it in here. And to make sure that I recognize that this is a total, I will make that mold. And I will move this band right below the bottom of that table. And I'll have to tell the reporting engine <coughs> that this is a summary. And I want to summarize based on one of the criteria. And I do that via the group fields. I click on the group fields. I add a grouping criteria. And that field name is called code. So each component with the same code will be included <coughs> in the same group. The sort order is going to be ascending, so my collection of resources will be uh, sorted based on code in an ascending order. Click OK. And I also want to make sure that I only include resources, so I use the AND condition and the node level uh, property that I already had uh, should equal node level 6. So that filters out all the content on that level. Click OK. Now these are by default uh, numbers of the first component in a group. But what I really want is that that becomes a sum. So I click that cell, click on the caret, and then there's a summary option there. So when I open that, I can choose to uh, calculate the summary of the group. The summary function is sum, so it's a sum quantity. And the format string can be specified in here as well. That's going to be N2. Click OK. I want to do the same thing for unit cost. And in that case, I actually want to use a um, different function. I want to use the average. Use the average unit cost of all the components in that group. Click OK. Then for active price, I want to use the total of all the components in that group again. So I'm using the summary, the sum for that group, and the number will have to be formatted the same way. I want to make sure that I did that for this item as well. And the summary and the format string needs to be this value. OK. So now I have a cost plan report that only shows the resources, and I get a total for each unique resource. Uh, so here you can see how the concrete pours have been grouped into uh, one line item. And these are all the unique instances. Now you may or may not be interested in uh, seeing all of the unique instances. So what you can do is hide that detail. So I'm going back into the report designer, click the detail band, and then in the property grid, uh, you can choose to uh, make the visible property no. Very simple. So when I click Print Preview now, I only see the collection of unique
components, comp uh, unique resources in my project. So this is your uh, resource report. Of course, if I only want to see all the materials, uh, I apply a filter uh, that says uh, begins with an M, and that way I can generate a materials report. 